A favorite question I get asked a lot recently is AI or is SOAR ever going to fully replace the SOC? <laughs> and I will uh, candidly say no mm. for now. But I see the shift in the SOC role as maybe being more training. Those models, we now have technology at Palo Alto Networks in our Cortex product line, which is looking at patterns. And it is self-teaching based on the activity that's going on in the organization that it's installed in. So the role of myself and the SOC may be shifting more to feeding that information to those models rather than trying to hire enough human analysts to just respond to the alerts that we've configured ourselves. We talk a lot about zero day threats being one of the scariest things to be looking out for. It's the things that we've never seen before. It's the things that legacy technology is gonna have a hard time identifying because it has no signature to detect it. And this is why we're at the point where we have to rely on some machine learning to help augment what we do because the amount of data that we're looking at is continuing to scale rapidly and it's going to continue to grow at that pace. And we also know that threat actors are also using artificial intelligence. So when we think about fighting fire with fire, we wanna be making sure that we've got a level sure. playing field for the defensive side as the offensive side is already there.